morning, my beautiful people. Sorry, my hair is all crazy in the mornings. Um, I'm at my desk and, oh my God. I'm at my desk at home and um, I am actually watching, right here, watching uh, my video that I just uploaded about my tattoo uh, two years later process. And um, I'm really tired this morning. Um, I stayed up late editing because I'm not used to editing anymore, but I'm gonna go get coffee. You guys want some coffee? Let's get some coffee. <laughs> you guys know I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Now, if you guys know me, I am not a coffee drinker. I usually do energy drinks, but decided to switch over to something more healthy. But honestly, the energy energy drinks weren't working for me anymore. So I'm gonna see what coffee does. And this is the fourth cup of coffee in the past five days. So far, I like it. I mean, I can't complain. Oh boy, the coffee is hot and ready. Well, here's the thing. I don't uh, drink hot coffee. I just don't like hot liquids like that. So I'm gonna do, oh, look my Subaru mug. I'm gonna make cold coffee. So some iced coffee right here. Dump some ice in there. Put a little bit of uh, honey and some milk. What happened? This was supposed to be a cool cinematic, but what happened? God damn it. So today's plan is I'm gonna show you guys um, my camera settings when I record videos. So that way you guys can get an idea of how I do these cinematics. Cause I love, love doing cinematics. I think it's just fun to create it. So in this case, I have a light right here. This is the desk I'm sitting at right now. And I have one light right up there. So when I do content right here, I have this shining. And usually I put this light right above here. So this reflects off of my face. And then with a little bit of color grading magic, the light is nice because I usually leave that light on right back there and then I always leave our printer lights on so you get a nice lighting setup. So a lot of us uh, like to film indoors because it's a little bit more comfortable and in your house it's a perfect place for you to feel safe to film. In this case I have natural lighting from this side, natural lighting from this side. I've got an orange-ish dining room that's kind of like an orange light uh, like a yellow and they have no lights inside. So I'll let you guys know my camera settings and how I'm shooting this and I'll use turbo as my example so you guys can figure out how to set up your camera. All right guys, I always film in 60 frames per second, but I always cut down to 24 frames when I edit because it gives me the opportunity to slow-mo anything. So 60 frames per second. You ready for this, buddy? Ready? ISO is 2000 and F-SOP is four. I always film in four pretty much during the day at least. Ready? Set them out. You guys notice right there i always like to do a pan down establishing shot i like to put boom this is where you are right now the next shot is my talent so in this case it was turbo and subi so i go in with a nice little cinematic of the talent one or two angles and then i do kind of a wider shot to give some artistic things something in the foreground something in the background and boom do that and then i transition out with i like doing it with my hands because the tattoo still looks cool then i transition out with the hands i failed to mention what kind of camera i'm using i'm using a sony a6400 i used to use a a7s2 a lot on the channel but i recently switched over about a year ago because of the compactness of the a6400 you can use any camera to do all these ideas and cinematic i have used my phone many times especially when i'm out at the beach scootering and i don't want to carry a camera with me it works just kind of like the techniques of establishing it as for dsl LRs, if you guys are using it, uh, your settings are going to be dependent on the camera style. Whatever setting you guys have, color grading will fix a lot of it. As long as you don't use a picture profile that oversaturates it. So if you guys were going to do anything for settings wise, try to pick a setting that has minimal color grading already. Maybe a little bit for you newbies out there that makes it easier to edit, but don't use a super flat one if you're new and don't use a super saturated one if you guys are going to plan to color grade later on to give you guys a cool cinematic look. You'll see that I'm using a interesting little fuzzy mic i used to use one of these bad boys right here but i recently switched over because i didn't want to be buy a relocate mount and put it on the side so i decided to go with a little 
little microphone and it's okay i'll do a separate review on that but in the meantime i'll leave a link in the description with the amazon link for that little fuzzy microphone along with the lens and the camera and everything i got my drone over here i'm charging the batteries up we're gonna go outside and shoot some drone footage you know turbo you make a very very good talent for video and see, yes, I know. You act like I don't give you attention ever. Oh, ooh, they're fighting for it. Look at this. A pet Subi. Turbo kicked my hand out of the way. Look at him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are so silly. You guys act like I don't love you all day. Dramatic as hell. You guys want to come with me? I'm going to go to Orange County. I've got my drone in my backpack. This is actually Backpack, the company we created like four years ago. That's made specifically for media bags. But uh, we're going to head over to Orange County. I'm going to pick up some sweaters. I know, summer, but we're picking up sweaters. Um, sweaters for winter season apparel. But if you guys want to come, come along. I want to throw up the drone up in Orange County. So let's get there. Teleport. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that we'll I'm over at one of our suppliers uh, It's crazy because their shipping and receiving area is inside the warehouse And their service people are also sitting in the warehouse It must be so hot in there What's up, Robbie D's Nuts? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. Oh, it's the hoodies. Yeah, it's the hoodies. So we're at uh, HQ right now, and I told you guys I picked up hoodies early because for business, it's smart to pick up off-season because people don't want to buy, so companies give you discounts. Hence the hoodies in summer, but we'll store them for later. Boys are listening to Khalid in here. You guys got the vibes going on or what? You already know, man. Oh my god. We're over here at HQ again. And uh, George, say hi. Hey, what's up, everybody? George is back grinding away. This bottle, you guys have probably seen in my story, but this is the waterless wash um, developed because for mountain biking, the sprays are a little smaller, but you can use it for your car. So I've been doing this for my car. But the sprays are more concentrated in this area instead of this area. So for mountain bikes, it's a little bit easier, but you can still use it for your car. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. All labeled up. What do you think, Robbie? That looks fucking primo like it mm -hmm. yeah so the spray is like it's smaller so yeah, it's pretty... yeah it's a good size bottle it's a eight ounce um but we've got a ton we just got to label them up ship them off oh the black bottle is even nicer don't take it personal i ain't lying i ain't hiding i've been grinding multiplying i've been trying to get my weight up staying prayed up Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah you know, Rob made a promise to me, but I don't believe him. Actually, you know what? Let me get George over here. George is like the new homie. Look at this. Where's George at? George. All right. So, Rob. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Like, high key sucks at keeping promises, by the way. Uh, you um, know right, you know, so they've been friends for a hell of long. Like, childhood friends. Like, they they were friends when their dicks were, like, this small, and now it's this mm -hmm. big. So... We play swords together. They play swords together. Um, Peg. Um, so... <laughs> So Rob made a promise to me that they'd get this racing sim completely done and set up and I don't have hopes for it. So I'm going to tell George because George can call him out and keep him accountable because if the racing sim is ready, then we can play on the channel. Mm -hmm. But that's up to Rob. Don't be ready. Yeah, right, Rob. <laughs> Right. Yeah, right. Rob, I've Rob's been planning and scheming and thinking about it. Rob's been thinking about it for like four months. No. So all he needs is a shifter here, and I have the PC set up back there. Don't we have the shifter over there? Yeah, the shifter is over there. We just gotta install it here, and then we just gotta rearrange the seat so it's a little bit higher because this is like cholo status. And then uh, it's up. The projector's there. It's all ready. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. When uh, pigs fly is when Rob will finish this. Oof. Oh, okay. Oof. All right. Oh, this meal. <laughs> Here's my backpack. Gonna whip out the drone and throw it up in the air. Boom. I made this backpack specifically to fit this Mavic Pro. Old school, but still works. Got two extra batteries here, one in there. And then a uh, SD card holds like an hour of footage. And then um, <laughs> the last time I flew, I threw, flew it in sport mode. Drone cinematic, let's go.
Hi, right, big boy. You miss me? Did you miss me? Did you miss me? What have you been doing at home all day? I don't give you enough attention on the vlogs. Come here, roly-poly. <laughs>